Hi, we're here at the ASC 2012 conference and today we're at the Biology in the Real World Practical Drop-In. This is a set of drop-in practicals for teachers and science educators and it is held at the conference each year to support the Biology in the Real World lecture series. We've got resources for uh, cloning cauliflower which is a new uh, part of the GCSE and A-level curriculum and we've got a technique based on uh, one developed at the Royal Botanic Gardens Q. Uh, we've had uh, teachers from all over the world which has been really nice to uh, talk to people from Norway, Denmark, Holland as well as uh, lots of teachers from the UK and technicians uh, some of whom have never heard of uh, cloning a cauliflower so it's nice to be able to show that you can do that and it's so simple uh, with the technique that we've got and also the, the support that we have I am here at the ASC in Liverpool to promote microbiology in all its senses. What we've been looking at this afternoon with teachers that have visited the ASE conference uh, are four different practicals. The first one here looks at a microbial fuel cell. And what we're trying to do is to feed some yeast sugar and then we're trying to harvest from that sugar some energy. And by using this little microbial fuel cell we can actually produce uh, a small amount of electric current. We can convert the electric current into work and so this motor is going round. Now this is wonderful for teaching a bit about microbiology, biochemistry, a little bit of chemistry and a little bit of physics. But of course we're predominantly here looking at microbiology and of course I did think it might snow so I've got some beautiful images of snowmen made from microbes. The other thing that we've been doing is to look at a transformation. My colleague and myself have been looking at an alternative which is this organism here and it doesn't look very impressive at the moment but if I take a little UV light and shine it you will see there'll be beautiful fluorescence. Uh, here today I've been helping at the BBSRC with um, heart dissection that sometimes they're damaged when you get them from the butchers so I, we've been working on a new um, a new part of the process where you can um, sew up holes in the hearts with dental floss and curved needles uh, so that we can so you can incorporate that and then if you we've been putting water through through the arteries and veins back through the hearts to see how good um, the repairs are and the idea is to encourage the students to be a bit more constructive in their heart dissection approach I think it's gone really well today. Teachers seem like really enthusiastic about um, looking at heart dissection in a different way. Um, some who have, there have been some who have done it a lot before and some who have not done it very much before. So I think, um, yeah, hopefully people will be using it. Eclipse is very much about supporting good, safe, practical work um, in schools. So it's very much about getting students doing things and learning about doing things. We've had uh, a great day here today. The visitors today have seen a range of different approaches uh, from different professionals and we're sharing with each other as much as we can. The, uh, with the chemistry, the uh, micro um, experiments, those are really useful. Um, get you thinking about safety um, and it's a lot quicker for the students to do as well. Today has been really useful and I'm glad that you guys put this on. It's great. This session has been good because um, obviously it's biology which is our area. Um, well the heart dissection and especially the idea of maybe sewing it up. But from time to time you need to be stimulated to do uh, new stuff or actually continue doing what you're doing or being critical about what you're doing. So. Um, yeah, sometimes you run out of ideas or uh, run out of energy or run out of, you want to be motivated, so that's uh, the main thing, yeah.